Every day you wake up at 11, every day you wake up at 12, every... Okay, so how are you going to work on your laziness? Like we just now explained. If you're going to go to Hashem and tell Him, listen Hashem, help me to wake up early in the morning, you're lying to yourself. Because you really want to sleep until 12. Because if you wouldn't want to sleep until 12, you wouldn't sleep until 12. You have a reason. You have a very good reason to hide yourself under the blankets and under the, under the pillows and to hide yourself every day till 12. You have a reason. But you're not aware to that reason. Why? Because you haven't investigated enough. You haven't asked yourself, why am I sleeping every day until 12? So now, that's how you're going to fix, solve your problem. Not by saying to Hashem, please wake me up early. You're cursing yourself. If really He's going to start kicking you off the bed, out of the bed at 7 a.m. every morning, you're going to hate your life. It's going to be even worse than waking up at 12. So if really you want to solve your problem, you need to understand what your problem is. Why are you hiding? Why you hate the mornings? Why you hate to see the sun rising? Why you can't stand another day? This is why you don't go to sleep early. This is why you drag another hour and another hour into the night. This is why you're drinking. This is why you're smoking. This is why you're chatting. This is why you're on Facebook. This is why you're on YouTube. This is why and why and why. But you cannot get rid of your problems until you're going to recognize them. So to make a deep, deep root canal, to find the roots of your problem, why I hate myself, why I hate my life. This is why I hate others. This is why everyone are my enemies. Because I have issues with myself. So what are my issues? When you're going to track them down, when you're going to find them, there won't be issues anymore. Yes, you're going to recognize that you have huge anger on your father, on your mother, on yourself. But you won't be judgmental anymore. You will not going to hate yourself anymore. Today a person can hate himself and only because that he thought when he was 14 years old that his father, he hates him. So now he's going to walk with that feeling for the rest of his life, hating himself. But if you're going to understand that your father just lost his property when you were 14, and this is why he was standing in front of you in the kitchen or in the office in front of all of his workers and cursing you and screaming at you when you were 14 years old and, and insulted you and killed you, slaughtered you alive. If you would just understand why he did it and you're gonna understand that really he didn't meant to do that he just lost one million dollars in that day of course it's not justifying what that he did but it still brings some light to that situation to shine on it and to heal it that really you're not so evil you're not the one that need to be hated so much you're not the one that we need to revenge. You're not the one that destroyed your family house, the, the, your family life. You're not the, even if they told you, you ruined my life, you destroyed the house, you're the one. Even if they said it, if you're just going to keep on running away from that horrible feeling, you will always going to be that one that ruined, that destroyed his parents' house. But if you're going to go back to that horrible situation of you standing in front of your parents when you were 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, no matter when, and you're going to just observe on your life, on reality, and you're going to understand that really it wasn't you to blame, it wasn't your fault. And even if it was, even if you did something, you can find the reason why you were doing it. Even if you were the one that made that fight, even you were the one that, 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 that destroyed, even there is a reason for that. Check yourself and you're going to find that you had a reason, that you were so scared, that you were terrified, that you were so upset, that you were so lost, that you didn't know what to do with yourself, and that was the solution that was in front of your eyes. So you chose it, but it doesn't make you evil. Maybe it makes you scared. Maybe it makes you confused. Maybe it makes you lost, but not evil. Not that one that you hate so much. Not that one that you want to kill and to destroy. So your ex-wife cursed you and told you that you ruined her life and she went. It doesn't mean that really it was your fault. And even if you did something wrong, it doesn't really mean that you're so evil like that horrible feeling that she got from you. 
Maybe your parents weren't the best example for you to be as to learn how to be a parent. Maybe. Maybe you never learned how really to respect your wife. Maybe you never learned and, and never sold those wonderful wisdoms of how to be an honorable person, a noble person, a kind. Maybe you never saw an honorable behavior ever in your life to know how to behave. Maybe you didn't have no source of inspiration to, to, to follow, to look like it, to become that man. So, if you, haven't, if you never had that example, that role model in your life, so where are you going to learn how to behave with your wife? Except of being wrong and apologizing and apologizing again and asking for help and doing tshuva again and working on yourself and listening to wonderful classes from the Amuna channel. And then you can work on yourself and develop and grow. But without that... Nothing can help you. So it's better for us to go deep and investigate. And even if it's going to be very painful, stressful, to stand again in front of my father and to see him insulting me when I was 14 years old. Oh no, really to go and deal with those emotions that my parents, they divorced when I was 15. No, I don't want that. It's better to cry one hour and to solve problems of a lifetime than to cry for the rest of your life without being aware even to the reason why you suffer so much. And if you don't remember, so ask for Hashem Yidbarach. Please let me know myself. Please Hashem, let me understand why am I ruining my own life every day? Why am I destroying myself? And then every day make another layer, another step, another progress, another development. Every day, one step forward, one step forward, one step forward. One day, you're going to have an amazing, amazing, amazing success. Clarity. Epiphany. <laughs> Thank you very much.